All right, folks, welcome to more World Cup action. <clears throat> we have uh, Greek or Greece versus Canada um, continuing with Canada currently up 1-3, to three, looking for the closeout game here up to Sly Knight to bring it back. Let me go ahead and uh, post this game. All right, and let's take a look at some deck lists real quick while we're waiting on the unicorn player. Huh, looks like the Canadians just haven't reported their games. Classic. Also, Demo didn't report his game, or it's er again an error, and I need to go fix it. Let's take a look at some deck lists. So this, uh, the crane list that the Greeks and the Spanish team are playing are pretty similar in style. Uh, obviously not all the cards are the same, but they have come across to the notion that Unicorn Splash might be the best way to do it. So with the advent of Hunting Falcon, which is a zero cost, one military um, attachment with no restriction, uh, and lets you peek at a province, this allows you to have uh, much or more reliable Gaijin customs, along with access to things like Favored Mount and Talisman of the Sun, which is obviously very uh, strong with some of the dual actions and bow actions. And then we have Madras Station with Talisman as the combination for restriction cards. Um, Toshimoko is being played by the Spanish players, so, you know, in this matchup particularly, I think Sly Knight would prefer to have Toshimoko, but, you know, Madras Station is still very powerful. On the Unicorn side, we have just Lion Splash uh, with three copies of Makeshift Warcamp, along with three copies of Take Up Command. So just gonna be going pretty pretty hard in. Um, the attachments are actually gonna be really good here because the crane list doesn't have any attachment control other than T House, and T House actually can't interact with Makeshift War Camp. So that will be, I think, the the way that um, Unicorn manages to get through this game is with uh, you know Makeshift War Camps, and uh, Never Yield is gonna be a big card also, not being able to be bowed. So we'll see. Um, you know, Way of the Open Hand is not as good in this matchup because of the favorite mount. So we'll see if uh, if it comes through. All right, and so we are off to the races. Uh, Unicorn has gotten first player. All right, Sly Knight has Mulligan three cards in Dynasty. Mulligan three cards in Dynasty as well for Drez. Um, cards I would keep on my opening flop for Drez would be Yasumura, Shinjo Gunso, maybe Encampment. Uh, it might keep a Yurt if you want to just pump up your honor and then see a new card. Um, let me check how many copies of Unleash the Jin he's playing. 
because he is playing Keeper of Fire. We have one copy of Unleash the Djinn. Uh, Cyanite has opened with a Dazzling Duelist and a Masterpiece Painter versus Draz's uh, Gunso, Border Rider, Infantry, and Yurt. Um, I think you might have kept the I think you might have kept the, the Gunso. I don't think you would keep the papers because that's the first card uh, that rallies. Not a you know obviously getting another body is good, but not the body that he wanted. Uh, it does does get a keeper initiate as we see the restricted card uh, into the discard pile along with a Chags and a Nergui for a potential turn one. Um, oh wow, Yurt's into a into a uh, encampment. Uh, we're gonna get passing fate here for Sly Knight, which I think then might yield Draz into buying either just the Border Rider or both of these characters. Um, it, it's tell, it'll t tell basically what his opening hand is if he buys both. If he buys just the Border Rider, he can still cab reserves. Uh, buying both leads you to a better... Um, leads you to a better makeshift for Warcamp turn. Sly Knight does not have any conflict characters. Also, that's something to, to note here, is that we are going just solely with this character. And, and Masterpiece Painter is actually not even one of the best characters to ha open with, because uh, Masterpiece Painter is just not a very large character, military-wise. Alright, so knows no assassination in the crane list, so just double fates this uh, border rider, which makes me think that the border rider is going to. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure, Adorai. Um, it really just depends on how you want him to do it. I think the yurt timing was definitely a little bit loose in how um, the turn was going to play out. But if you weren't going to pass there, you were never going to get passing fate. Like, crane is always going to pass after this first buy. So, Return the Offense has been revealed by a Masterpiece Painter. Uh, Masterpiece Painter has the crane draw of revealing top card, and then you can play that for the phase. We have a Hunting Falcon coming down, and sees Endless Plains... Actually, super strong. Now, Sly Knight just needs to make a mental note of where that's, that Endless Plains is. We're getting all these attachments pre-played. So, after this character, after he gets attacks... Yeah, yeah, the Katana's making me feel like Defend Your Honor... And, and his duelist training. Feels really awkward having to load this character up when it's also not the best character in the world and, and only has two fate. This proving ground is going to be a really big deal, though. If Draz has a war camp here, though, really big deal. And him going void makes me feel like he doesn't necessarily want to open way of the opening. Hits Magistrate Station. All right. Well, if he has Kageyu, that doesn't really help help in the spot. He he does have three copies of Kageyu, but like that doesn't stop the fact that this character only has two fate. It does it does make the character slightly bigger with four military if uh you know Kageyu comes. It becomes a 4 military, 4 political versus a 3-5. Oh, sure, it lets him dupe. Yeah, that's fair. I, I actually think that's that's a, a, a fair point. 
So we're definitely going to see a defense here. Um, plays RTO is the first action. Um, going to get then get a draw. Oh, this is good, actually. So you play RTO against the Border Rider, which then allows you to make it so the Border Rider can't stand in this conflict. Um, of Things to note, though, is that I, I definitely think the, that the Unicorn player could have bid higher and tried to try to tie the duel. So we see wave the open hand with a def met with a defender on her. Then draws a card off Proving Ground. So Proving Ground has already drawn the two cards for the turn. Sly Knight really cannot, does not want Magicization to break here. We see a War Camp come down, currently breaking now. Can use Duelist Training to duel um, probably the Border Rider because the Border Rider has the, the um, RTO effect on it. Right, this character is a 8 versus a 4. Oh, we see Talisman come down. Okay, so this is good. This allows you to move off of the War Camp province to probably... Um, probably Manicure Garden, if I had to guess. Um, could move to Shameful also, but not as strong of a play. Talisman really important in this matchup. Uh, I think I, I think I'm moving to Manicured Garden if I had to move. And and Slyna has also scouted out the Endless Plains, so he knows he's safe on, on an attack. Yeah, so so Manicure Garden is perfect. Gives him a fate, allows him to, allows Slyna to make an attack, and then Slyna can um, use Gaijin Customs with his now one remaining fate. You would you would just save you would save the move for the next conflict maybe Christian. Oh man and and I just realized that Slynet is Keeper of Void so Draz gave up another fate on Keeper attack here. The Void attack was very odd right because if you were your if your if your play was a way of the open hand why even go Void? You're I guess you're just canceling out your own card. Uh, yeah, we're going to see Military Earth, obviously not going to attack the Endless Plains, uh, runs into Pilgrimage, and, and I think what we're going to see here is we're going to see a Gaijin Customs with one of those two remaining fate. Uh, Earth Ring is really big here. Uh, you know, pro Proving Ground really has... has come to uh, more of a resurgence i think when this card first came out oh yes magic station of course of course yeah yeah, I, I, yeah he has magic station and gaijin customs yeah yeah I, I actually completely forgot um so we see a new name coming down probably drew that with the earth ring Runs into Shameful Display. We're going to get a defense and probably use Shameful Display to dishonor this Border Rider. Really strong uh, to get a token onto it because it's got so much fate on it. It just has another return to the offense. Sure, it doesn't need a... Why did he bid five? What? Am I am I missing something? Why did he bid five? Is that was that a misclick? Like if that was a misclick, then he should have said something. There's just no way he should have bid five there, right? Use her to flip. What do you mean use her? To, yeah, he um he flipped on our, our return the offense with um with masterpiece painter. This one to five doesn't make any sense because the border rider goes to five skill on the bid, like literally cannot win. Yeah, that definitely felt like a concession right there, uh, Dario. 
All right, so I think so. We do have a Yasumura, but at this point, we could just draw a favored mount. I think we're gonna see challenge. Oh, Challenger also is good against Yasumura, forcing out a Tessin. So you can go. You can open Challenger. You can buy Challenger and Brash here. You could even let's see, Challenger one fate, Brash one fate, or Challenger one fate, Dazzling Duelist one fate. That gives you three characters on board. Uh, face up Madras Station. And you know where Endless Plains is. Okay, so instead of going one, uh, one and one, he goes two and zero. That's fine. Um, I I prefer to go one and one, um, and then you just defend the void ring more because I mean this character is gonna get voided, right? If anyone's getting voided, so doing it this way allows you to have a three character board if you don't necessarily win this turn, versus a two character board. Sure, sure, Zelo. What's what's the other unicorn province? I guess if 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 he wants to go after endless planes. I guess that's that that would be the reason. Um, oh, it's upholding authority. Yeah, it's upholding authority. Yeah, okay, so so Zelo's right. The Brash Samurai goes after endless planes. We actually see no defense, and we see a we see a uh, talisman get played. Um, I wonder how Sly Knight wants to play this. He's, he is going to go for the honor, and I think we're going to move into uh, Upholding Authority now. He doesn't want to go Void uh, Gomes, though, because he wants he wants to get attacked Void because he wants the uh, Keeper Fate. Because he he can defend. Uh, presumably, he has, he has a... Um, presumably, he has a Favored Mount for the Asamura. Or, if your opponent attacks you void, you just go for the stronghold break. Yeah, I don't think he can use Talisman here. Alright, we see Formal move down on the Challenger. We're just going to see cards get played here, uh... Just in case, I would not play cards until I until I got moved to upholding. Though you don't actually need to do anything. We have a gossip come down, probably naming cavalry. Oh no, as elegant Tessin. Okay. He doesn't have any assassinations, Gums. Like again, again, we have open deckless. Did a painter get used? A uh, painter has not been used yet. Interesting that we move Challenger in here. I guess he can now move in Yasumura. And then maybe maybe a thir the third RTO here. Challenger versus Yasumura.
Yep, there's the third RTO, okay. And we're gonna see a uh, proving ground draw. Honors the challenger. Yeah, Andres just has to pass still. Cannot use a uh, talisman or, or he's just dead. Hasn't used the painter yet either. Oh no. Did the server crash? All right, well, I need I need a screenshot of the unicorn hand because I need screenshots of hands because I. Yeah, the server just crashed. Fuck. Hmm. Fortunately, I was streaming this game and we were in a position. I have a screenshot of Sly Knight's hand. I don't even know about favor. I actually think Crane is just going to win this turn. Because I have a screenshot of Sly Knight's hand. Well, the Stronghold wouldn't break this turn because of the Talisman. But it would, it would break, break next turn. He has no attachment removal. Like, Sly Knight's hand was vo Voice of Honor, Defender Honor, Gaijin Customs, Duelist Training, and another sword. <clears throat> A duel to death wouldn't work because the character can just dishonor to refuse. Like, that Masterpiece Painter was not leaving play. And we had face-up Magistration. Two cancels ready to go. Unicorn wasn't getting a break or winning the Void Ring that turn. Uh, the Jagoku did die, Dario. I'm currently talking with the teams, trying to solve what I believe to be absolutely a crane victory. Um, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna stop my stream here, and I guess I'll restart it depending on. Yeah.